This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Barakatea Hawa, Barakatea Hawa Shah, Barakatea Hawa, Barakatea Hawa Shah, Barakatea Hawa, Barakatea Hawa Shah. Call Halal Yom La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or call Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule and teach well, who are the real, true leaders of all Israel on earth today. If you can receive it, peace, love, and blessings to the Akim that scattered abroad the house of David, Lord willing, who are the elect that's preaching this truth around the four corners of the earth, man. A sincere shalom to the few sisters, the few Akim, Akwathium that listen and that learn. And once again, we can't forget about the scattered Israelites that look like the other nations, whose spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, man. And uh, today, I got a quick, brief lesson. Man, because uh, the Most High said he would give you pastors according to his heart, man. Not you got to go to a to a to a, a church or to a theological school or ministry to understand the word. Because how do you learn? You learn through man on earth. But uh, he's only dealing with the Israelites. So according to what's that? Two and eleven is it Amo? Is it Amos? Is it Hosea? Let me just see real quick. I can be wrong. I just want to check and see real quick. Hosea two and eleven. One and one eleven. Mm. What is it? Is it? Is it Amos? Let me just find it. Cause now I'm looking for. <laughs> Here we go. It's Amos two and eleven. It say, "And I will raise up your sons for prophets, and your young men for Nazarites." Is it not only thus, O children of Israel? Said the Lord. So the prophets and the teachers will come out of the loins of Israel, man. It would be the Israelites, man. It wouldn't be the Edomites setting up a school that's going to teach you about your power, man. If you a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native Ascendant or Indian, you should be listening to the Israelites, your brothers, because the Most High raised us up for prophets, man. So this is Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the knowledge and the understanding will be coming from teachers that the Most High will set up from among you, O children of Israel. So if you learn anything, you're learning it from your fellow brothers, man. And it ain't, man, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures is not in a church it's not in no building made with hands thus said the lord thus said the holy bible this is acts chapter 7 verse 48 how be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands as said the prophet so the most high spirit not in a temple when you look up the word temple it's a building devoted to the worship of regarding as dwelling place of a god, gods, or other objects of religious reverence. Bam. <laughs> so anything that's a building that's devoted to worshiping a god, a dwelling place, or other objects, synonyms like like a like a house of God. House of worship, 
A synonym is a word or phrase that means exactly or nearly the same thing as another word. So like a like a like a synagogue, a church, a mosque, it's all temples, man. Them all temples, man. Because it's a synonym. Like a synonym basically is like if you use the word shut the door or close the door, it's basically the same thing, just a different word. So if the most high spirit not dwelling in temples made with hands, let's see where his spirit is dwelling. Let me see. Verse 15 is 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you. So the temple is not something made with hands. The temple is you. We are the temple. That's why we are the church. Anytime you got three or more gathered in his name, he, there he is in the midst of them, man. Simple as that, man. The Most High do not dwell in temples made with hands, man. We've been lied to for so long, we started to believe the lie. Anything the so-called red Hebrew Edomite say is what our people go off of, man. But it's high time to wake out of sleep. Our people spiritually sleep, man. This Romans 11, 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, man. Our people spiritually sleep, man. They in a bed with their feet up, and there's people about to kick down the door, and they snoozing, man. They snoozing. They laying in the bed. Uh, uh, it's 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 four o'clock in the afternoon, and they sleep, and they supposed to be at work. What happens to you when you're supposed to be at work and you somewhere sleep, man? It's repercussions, man. So knowing the time, man, we supposed to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer to what we believe. Salvation, what is salvation, man? We slaves. Salvation is being saved from the land of our captivities, man. From the hand of all that hate us, man, like Luke 1 to 68 on down say. Because it was a promise that was given to our forefather, man, that we will rule the land, that the kingdom of heaven is for us, man. Kingdom of heaven is like FUBU, for us and by us. <clears throat> so like you. Verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. What day? The day of the Lord. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. The works of darkness is sin and Corruption is anything that you reap to the flesh. Reaping to the flesh, man, is like the lust of hold on, hold on. What's that? The lust of the eyes, man. Uh, let me see. I can't think of where it's at, but let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, I mean, think, think, think. The spirit take. Murdering, 
drunkenness, reviling, and, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past. And they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High, man. So that was the point, man. You got to get out of the works of the flesh and get to the works of the Spirit, man. Try to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. Praying, fasting, being more brotherly, being more humble. Because that's what it's about, that broken and contrary heart, man. You can't have pride in this thing, man. Pride will get you weaned out, man. Shifted out, man. The most high hate pride. Men hate pride. Men of your how about you how shot hate pride. It's about taking the law in this thing, man. Growing in this thing, man. Growing in the spirit, man, before anything, man. Growing in the spirit of your how about you your how shot bled. Pleading with him, begging him for the spirit, man. But he go try you first, man. Wisdom is go try you first, man. Damn, I, I can't think of where I sat. Like, let me let me just take a look. The second answer is four. Is it wisdom? Hold on. Is it wisdom of Solomon? It's a lot here if I can't find it because I don't know exactly where it's at, but I'm going to try to find it. If I can't, I'll just close out. find it. Uh, you know what? Bam, four. I knew it was four. It's a rock four. The water you have The water you have about some how was shot. Okay, this is Syrac four and sixteen. If a man commit himself unto her, she shall he shall inherit her. And the generation shall hold her in possession. It's talking about wisdom. For at first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. So most people don't want to go through crooked ways and fear and dread and the torment that comes with discipline until she may trust his soul because he dealt with all that man and bring and try him by her laws then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets because you gotta go through something to gain wisdom wisdom ain't something that's just I'm gonna just trust you with all this information and then you turn around and turn on me that's why scriptures say if you was to get a friend, try him first. That's what wisdom do. Wisdom is the friend and it tries you. It says, but if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Mm. 
So you can't mess around with wisdom, man. <laughs> but the point I wanted was it try you, man. You got to go through things, man, to obtain this wisdom, this knowledge, and this understanding, man. So that's why you're supposed to count the cost first, man. Because the most high bug you out, he'll mess you up in this truth, man. So that was just something quick through the spirit, man. Shalom and on to the next one.